And hello there folks, we're going to do a quick video on regression using the data analysis tool pack. So I have a collection of data here, independent variable and dependent variable, that if I highlight and insert a scatter plot, shows a fairly clear linear trend. Looks like I've got a, a positive slope with an intercept somewhere around 7. Looks like this thing has a linear trend. No, I haven't put any context to this data. I leave that to you in whatever class you're uh, using this data for, or this video for. We're going to do a bunch of the heavy lifting for this in the data analysis tool pack, but before you go there, you should know there's some simple things you can do. If you right click on the data points and add trend line, the options show up over here on the right, display the equation and display the R squared, gives you the basic algebraic equation for the line that best fits this curve and how well it fits. Remember that an R-squared value of 1 is perfect and 0 is no fit whatsoever. Now let's let the data analysis tool pack do some work. So I'm going to go to data, data analysis. I'm going to choose regression. Now I've already set this one up so it has the data highlighted, but notice that the Y range comes first, the X range comes second. It's easy to get those backwards. Make sure that you do the Y first, then the X second. I always highlight the labels so that everything comes through labeled for me. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a confidence interval. The output range is just somewhere over here on the right. Show the residuals and show the residual plot. Trust me, you'll see what these are in just a second. So I'm going to press OK. All right, so here's everything that I've got. So let's expand a little bit of it. All right, so it gives us our regression statistics. Notice that the R squared value is the same as the one that we found just by right-clicking on the data, 0.62, and it carries it out to more decimal places. We don't need to worry about the adjusted R squared or the multiple R or anything like that. <clears throat> Notice that it gives me my intercept, 7.15. That's this guy. That's the y-intercept on my line. Notice that it gives me the slope, the 0.123 or 0.1229. It carries it out to more decimal places here. So I can get the same information that I had here from the equation of the line in here in my data analysis outputs. Now it gives me lots more stuff. In particular, one thing that I find very, very useful is the residual plot. So I'm going to take this plot and I'm going to drag it over so it's underneath the other one. The residual plot takes each one of these data points, say for example that one right here, and says the residual is the difference between it and the line. So in other words, the observed minus predicted. And then if I come down here, now that's going to be a kind of high residual. If I come down here, that residual is going to be one of these guys. Right? It's probably going to be the higher one on that. So what that tells you is that if we have a line that goes through the data and does not follow any other pattern other than a linear pattern, we should see a cloud of data here with no discernible pattern whatsoever. And that is precisely what we see. We can also do predictions on this. So if I have an independent variable that's, say, right outside my data set, say I had an independent variable that's 32, I know that I have a linear function because I see a cloud of data and I want to go just outside the data set so I should be able to predict using the best fit line and I can say equals my slope times the independent variable I want to use plus my intercept. I'm just typing in this function but I'm letting it use all of the um, fully expanded decimal forms of this and now I've got my prediction which we can tell is probably going to be about right. So there's lots more you can do with this, but I think I've highlighted most of the good stuff you can get out of the data analysis tool pack. Have fun out there.